Okay, our next problem is on caffeine. The ca caffeine is stimulant found in coffee, tea, and chocolate. It contains 49-48% carbon, 5.15% hydrogen, 28-87% nitrogen, and 16.49% of oxygen by mass and has a molar mass of 194.2 grams per mole. Determine the molecular formula of caffeine. Okay, first of all, our steps, since we have percentage and we have those elements, we need to identify empirical formula. That's all will be our first step. Empirical formula should be found by their percentage. Those percentage should be divided by the molar masses of, of atomic mass of the elements, and you will find the ratio of moles. The second step, you will use, you need to find the molecular formula. And that molecular formula, you use the number 194.2 grams. So uh, let's let's dive in how to do that. Empirical formula. Uh, let's find first of all empirical formula. We have those percentage 49, 48 percent, 5.15, and uh, we will assume this is happens in 100 gram of sample. That's why those percentages will automatically convert to grams. So I have 49. 49.48 grams of carbon. I have 5.15 515 gram of hydrogen. I have 2887 grams of nitrogen and oxygen is 16.49 of oxygen. Those are grams. If I have the grams, I can find them all. And that's what you need to do. In order to find the mole of those, you need a periodic table. You'll find the atomic masses of elements and find the moles. Let's dive. 49, 48 grams of carbon. When you will convert to moles, one mole of carbon is always 12.01. That's one. The hydrogen, 5.15 grams of hydrogen. You will convert to always to, to the mole and that will be grams C grams hydrogen. Let me solve those first. And um, since you start with the four signature figures, yes, we have those four signature figures. Let's let's find the answer in four signature figures here. Four, one, twenty. We will do that. That's more. Okay, the next one, 5, 15 over 1, 0, 8, you'll find 5.1, since you have only 3, so 5.11 mole. So see, this is hydrogen. Next step will be find 2887 of grams of nitrogen. And if you look at the atomic weight, it's 14.01. And this is one mole always. 2887 over 1401. You'll find two. We need four signature figures, so that's 061 mole of N. The next number is oxygen, 1649 grams of oxygen. Let's find that. Okay, one mole of oxygen is always 16 grams. So it's close to one. One point zero three one mole of oxygen. As you see here, we have the numbers. Now, in order to identify the empirical formula, there is a rule: you need to divide by the smallest number. Divide by the smallest. And here, the smallest one is oxygen. So. What I need to do, I divide 4120 over 1031. Let's do that my right way. I divide this 1031. I divide this 1031. And this definitely by the same number 31. What you will get, that this, what you will get, the number of moles. And you will compare that later. So, here is 1. 1 divided by 1. Here is 2 because when you divide those numbers, this is probably five 
okay and here because those numbers four you will get four this is empirical formula now how i'm gonna write that i'm gonna write the element the index here for h five okay the next one is nitrogen two and after that is oxygen one what we found here it's basically empirical formula okay now in order to go to the second question asking us it has a molar mass of 194.2 determine the molecular formula yeah in order to determine the molecular formula you need to identify the difference between molecular for mass of molecular formula and the mass of empirical formula we need to find molar mass of empirical formula let's do that so carbon is 1201 right so i need to 4 times 1201 this is will be the carbon mass 5 hydrogens times 1008 of hydrogens plus i have 2 nitrogens times 1401 I have one oxygen, which is 16.00. So when we combine that, you will find the molar mass of empirical formula. 4 times 12.01 plus 5 times 1.008 plus. Okay, 2 times 14.01 plus 16. You'll get 97.1 gram per mole. okay we got 97 now let's see molar mass of 194.2 look very carefully at the ratio now we need a number the whole number and we will divide so molar mass of molecular formula will be div divided by molar mass of empirical formula and wherever you have, whatever you will get, you will multiply by all indexes. Okay, so this will be multiplied to 4, to 5, to 2, and to 1. So let's find that whole number. I have 194.2, that's the molar mass of molecular formula, over 97.1. Well, you will use the calculator or you can do that yourself, that number 2. So these two should be multiplied by the indexes. And if I multiply C4, this one, C4 by 2, that will be C8. H5 multiplied by 2, H10. And 2, same, 4. Oxygen is 1, so 2. We found our molecular form of caffeine.